Hey beautiful people, it's your girl T and I'm finally back again. Oh man, it's been many, many, I think it's been about three weeks or so since I've done a video like recording. I had some that were pre-recorded that I uploaded, but it's been a while. I just haven't been in, in the mood and with all the COPPA stuff, just kind of sitting around waiting, looking at other videos, trying to figure out what to do. That's been the biggest challenge, I think, is trying to figure out what to do because we really don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> um, but, you know, again, taking some um, different steps, you see that I've changed the name on my channel to Tease Adult, I'm sorry, Tease World of Adult Coloring, just to put the name adult in there, just so that people know, hey, this is not a kid's thing, this is for adults. Um, I'll be putting disclaimers <clears throat> also at the beginning of my videos, flashing that up. Um, I've seen some other color tubers doing that, um, you know, just to also reiterate that this is for, for adults, not children. Um, but this video is not to talk about copper and all that stuff, because I think, I think we've heard enough about it. Um, it's, it can be daunting for some people. I've, I've seen some people kind of shut down their channels. People are leaving. Um, it's just, this is just a sad time right now for a lot of YouTubers. Um, but so this, this video is actually going to be a haul. Now, um, I think I mentioned in a couple color in chats that um, I have a Facebook group called Adult Coloring on a Budget. And we had our second annual meet and greet. And basically we take a weekend and those people who are interested come into town where we're, we're going to have it. And we meet each other and hang out and do fun um, coloring things and shopping and stuff like that. So this year's meet and greet was in conjunction with um, uh, with a fair that comes into town. And we just kind of piggybacked off of it a little bit. And we went shopping at the art fair. Um, so I'm going to be showing you my haul. Some things I got at the art fair and some things I didn't. Well, we went to some other stores and we were shopping around there. So I'll, I'll start with those items. Okay. So... Um, before we went to the fair, the actual fair, we went to Tuesday morning. We were just looking around Tuesday morning and, um, I came across these. Let me zoom in. I'm sure you don't want to see my shirt. <laughs> um, we, I, we came across these Spectra Noir Aqua Blend. Uh, these are watercolor pencils. Now these are the essentials. This is, from what I can tell here, is for skin skin coloring, or skin water coloring, okay? Um, and let me open this up, I open it. This is my first time opening this. I wanted to do this with you guys. Okay. So it's 24 pieces, and these retail at $39.95, and they, only, they were only $11.99. Okay, so didn't plan on going to Tuesday morning, but ended up going there and finding these. Um, I don't have any Spectrum Noir anything, so this is like, well, I take that back. Somebody sent me a small marker set of um, Spectrum Noir, but these are my first actual pencils. So you can see that has the name of the, of the color here. It's a pretty pencil. It's nice and thick. Um, and the the barrel end of the barrel is the color of the lead. So we have white. Let me see what some of these names are. We have squash. Looks like a peach color. We have straw. Um, cantaloupe. Let's see a brown. Black umber. Dove gray. Um, charcoal brown. So there's a that's a nice array of colors here. Okay. So that's the first set. Again, those were $11.99. Sorry about all the noise with paper. And then I found another set called the Primaries. Again, these retailed at $39.99 and I got them for $11.99. I was not going to let these sit there. After all, we were supposed to be buying art supplies <laughs> that weekend so 
Um, again, this is the primaries color group. And I did try these out, as you can see. Uh, one of my lids got broken, but um, I tried them out, this set at least. So we have a really nice array of colors here. As you can see, they really look like they're really highly pigmented. Okay, um, I'm not gonna do a swatch of these just yet, but when I do, I might go ahead and show you guys, like here's Sunshine. Look at how bright and pretty that is. I love the yellows. There's four in this one. Well, like five, but a yellow orange. So, all right. So that was the Aqua Blend Spectrum Noir. Okay. So those are. That's what I got at um, Tuesday morning. All right. Um, then we decided to go over to AC Moore, and I was just looking for a coloring book because I did not want to go all the way back home to get a coloring book because we we're going to sit and color. So I picked up Seashore Scenes from AC, um, AC Moore. And it's just a Creative Haven coloring book of um, Seashore Scenes. So, um, and I, did, I got this because I was going to use the watercolor pencils that I had just gotten from... Um, Tuesday morning so I did this so far with that um, I based it with the watercolor and I went over with color pencil okay and that was with Prismacolor pencil so I started so you know it's warping the paper of course but it's not too bad it's good because they're single-sided so um, I got that book all right, next we'll go into what I actually got at the fair. But before we do that, um, I don't know if I've probably mentioned this before, that um, I'm really into color pencils. I am really, really into color pencils, and I'm trying to learn about watercoloring. So we'll put this one over here. Um, so at the fair, the Color Pencil Society of America was there. Um, cha District Chapter 114 is my area, and um, I talked to a lot of the, I talked to the people, the representatives that were there, and talked about joining um, the Color Pencil Chapter, and I'm going to join next year. Their first meeting is going to be in January, so I'm going to get myself signed up to join that. Um, and basically, there's a lot, a lot of color pencil artists. That get together, you can learn techniques. They talk about um, different uh, ways of doing things. They teach you techniques. It's just a place to go hang out with other people who are in love with <laughs> colored pencils. Um, and that's going to be me. I'm going to be joining them. Then I also found the Watercolor Society of North Carolina. Um, that's This is another um, type of media I, medium I want to get better in. Um, I do use it in coloring books, but I do want to start just making my own paintings. So um, they teach. So I'm going to also be joining this group right here. Okay. All right. So into what I got from the fair. We'll, we'll start with that. First item I'm going to show you guys is this. Jerry's brush water uh, and wa brush washer and basin. Sorry. <laughs> um... So basically, it's a where you wash your brushes and keep your clean water and dirty water. For you know, if you're going to be painting with acrylics or whatever, watercolor has this nice lid. And see here, it looks like there's a little palette. There's a palette built into the top for your paints. And then it has this lid here that covers that. Okay, and then. You keep your you can keep your brushes in these holes here. See that? And you can keep your water in these basins. So as you can see here, great for watercolors, gouache, acrylic, tem tempera, and more. One section for cleaning and beading paint from brushes, one section for resting brushes in clean water. Okay. So I, this is probably gonna be the beading and cleaning side because it has the grooves in it. You can get that paint off. And this is for resting because it has the areas where you just lay your brush. All right, so that was a. This only cost me, I think it was three, three or five dollars. Okay. 
Now the prices at the fair are really, really, really cheap. Um, you get, I can, I'm not gonna probably remember all the prices because I should have had the receipt here, but um, I'll show you what I got next. All right, so, sorry y'all, I'm digging out of the box over here. Um, all right, so, the next items that I received, that I picked up were these little itty bitty tablets of paper. I'll hold one up close here. This is um, Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Heavy and it's for watercolor. So I figured, you know, I can play around with these little tablets of watercolor paper just to make little cards, you know, something fun to do. So I picked up four of those. These were only a dollar each. So I got four of these, all right? And oh, then I got four of these little ones here, the Linux cotton paper, okay? And um, it says here, design, designed to withstand both delicate and bold impressions, this sturdy substrate, substrate was our first 100% cotton paper to be produced by an American mill with a soft textured finish. It's the ideal surface for graphite, pastel, color pencil, and charcoal. So of course I got them for pastel and, and, and color pencil um, because that's my thing too. So the paper is not as thick as the other paper, but it's 100% cotton. I cannot wait to use those. And you know, it's good to get these small ones just to see if you like the paper. And if you do, you can actually order the larger pads. So that's another reason why I got this um, paper, okay? All right, next. Okay, because I can't resist colored pencils, <laughs> um, I picked up this. The P. Cezanne or Cezanne Super Artist Color Pencils. Good to very good light fast ratings for permanent works of art. Colors release easily into paper, board or canvas. Three, millim three millimeter lead has a soft feel and is bonded to resist breaking. Lead encased in hardwood to sharpen easily and true. 72 colors for vibrant designs. Portraiture, landscapes and seascapes. Attractive double hinge tin with two trays. High quality for artists of all skills. Okay, so these were on display um, at the um, fair. 72 colors. I got to play with them. They kind of remind me of the um, the Sherpa Farben. They kind of also look like them. Um, so I'm not sure if they just, just have the name on it. I will find out because I'm going to do a comparison with the two. Um, these didn't, I think these cost me a little less than 20 for this whole set of 72. Some really pretty colors. I love how all you get so many different greens. Um, and then you have a nice variety of reds here and blue. So this is going to be really fun. Like I need another set of pencils, right? <laughs> um, but you know, they were inexpensive and I got to play with them. Uh, one of the um, people who were responsible for that display, for that table, um, she was there last year and she's a, a member of the Color Pencil Society and so we were just talking about these and um, I had another set of pencils in my hand and she was like, oh no, no, I take that back. She was like, she was saying these were good pencils, okay? So I went ahead and got them. Um, because I love colored pencils. All right, so now these are all Christmas gifts, you know. I can't use anything until after Christmas. I'm opening them so you guys can see, but that's about it. <laughs> all right, and then my friend got me this. Uh, Lucas Krill Studio Arctic. Look at that color, guys. That's a beautiful color. I don't know if you can see it really good here. Beautiful color. Um, this is some really good paint. 
kind of expensive, but they were dirt cheap at the fair. So I got that. Next item that I bought was this smart set acrylic wash. Okay. And I'll take that out. So it was, it's a set. It's upside down. Okay, and it's basically comes with this palette. This is a palette, and it comes with these um, opaque matte and water resistant acrylic paints. Okay, so in this box, I get Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven actual colors and a white. And then this here, this is oh, this is a palette cleaner. Okay. So the I get two whites actually, so that's really good. Um, I also get this color mixing card. These are color mixing cards. I haven't figured out how to use this yet, but I will. Okay, color mixing cards. Um, you also get a cleaning cloth and you get some paint brushes. Let's see how many are in here. I didn't count them. One, two. You get four. So you get four paint brushes. Um, you also get a ruler. And basically, what is acro? I think you say acrylic gouache or acro gouache. Basically, it says it's an incredible array of 219 colors. All colors are opaque and dry to a matte finish. Colors adhere to most surfaces, apply multiple layers without bleeding. Full range of pearlescent, pastel, and Japanese colors. Because they dry matte, you can then finish your pieces with Turner Gloss Varnish for a glossy effect. Now, I was told that while these are wet, you can move the color. But once they dry, it is permanent. So, like wash, you, you can reactivate it. Once this dries, it's done. I believe that's what I remember being told. So, I want to try these only because, again, I like... Um, Try new, try new product and it's something new. I'm gonna try it, and I like that it came in this little handy case, so you know it's easy to carry if I want to take it somewhere with me, you know, out of town or something like that. Um, I have a palette, and the brushes, and everything right in one. So um, this is actually pretty expensive, but I got it. I think for I want to say thirty something, maybe forty, but I think it retails almost seventy eighty for this so I almost got half off and it's by Turner so Turner is supposed to be some good stuff all right all right the next item that I picked up so the last item that I actually picked up from the oh, I'm gonna take that back another thing next item I picked up was a mono mono zero by Tombow eraser because I don't have one and I really wanted to get one of these so I got one of those this is like three bucks I think all right and then the last item I picked up from that fair was this and I love these I love them love them love them all right these are aqua pen graphics by Mar marabou and they're pretty cool I'll turn them over I'm not going to take them out um but basically they act like watercolors um it's a watercolor felt tip pen basically and you can um you know apply with a pen take a water brush and move the colors around and, and mix them and um when i was at the station to get these 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 are pretty expensive too but they i think cost me i want to say 30 or 40 maybe 30 um at the fair um but these people were like looking at them the same way I was and they had just taken a class using these 
And she's like, the lady is like, I fell in love with them. I need a set. So I went ahead and got a big set because I've already, I've always been looking at these, but they're pretty pricey at Hobby Lobby. And I was able to get them this year and I'm so excited. So these are the pens, aqua pens by Marabou. All right. And that was all I picked up from the fair. And, um, oh, and then they gave free gift, which was this, um, what was, it? oh yeah, this is for paint brushes. It's a paintbrush holder for traveling. Um, they gave that away for free. So I got that. And that was it. Everything else in the box was just like um, little gifts I got from the people who came. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, sorry it's taken so long for me to get back into the groove of things. Again, I was sick and then not feeling up to it. And finally now I'm back. And I hope that you guys um, like the video. And thank you for hanging in there with me. And... I don't plan on going anywhere, guys. Just got to figure some things out with this channel. And so I hope that you guys have a great evening. Until next time, take care.